Storm Team 3 Weather with Tom Kiffin. It was a pleasant evening here, Marquette, and it looks like it is in the Copper Country. Yeah, we do have quiet weather conditions across Upper Michigan and also here in the Houghton Hancock area. We're dry. I do think we remain dry in the Keweenaw Peninsula and across the rest of the UP as we go through the rest of the night tonight. As we look at my Twitter page at Tom Kippen. Actually, we'll do that in a second, Miss okay. Beck. I got four <laughs> slides loaded up on the iPad. It's a big here. show. It is a big show. We're going to get to our 906 Weather Watchers page, which is right here in just a second. But I want to show this quick here. This is the infrared satellite picture in motion here. And I want to point out these clouds. They're not much here, but they could have some sprinkles north of Thunder Bay, Ontario. But these clouds are coming this way. So if you do see a couple of sprinkles, one, consider yourself lucky. And two, don't count on it to water your lawn here in the next day because our next better rain and thunderstorm chance is going to come on Friday here as a cold front comes in here and bumps into some very warm to hot air and that's going to spark off some rain showers and thunderstorms. My Twitter at Tom Kipp and I posted this. I asked the question, where did summer go with a bunch of question marks and explanation points? The good news is Labor Day weekend in the UP is looking dry, but it is going to be a cool start here on Saturday. We'll have temperatures in the 60s and 70s. That's going to be the same on Sunday, and then we're going to start warming up on Monday. And long range models into next week, believe it or not, have temperatures above average, perhaps well above average. So summer may be hanging on into the first full week of September. We'll have to wait and see how that all pans on out. All right, 906 Weather Watchers page. Ponzi, Greg Pond, this morning, Munising with the kitty as well. You can see just a beautiful sunrise here looking out into Lake Superior. Look at that just amazing sunrise here. Pre-dawn colors, just awesome colors, Becca. Just, I mean, I, it, you, you, there's not enough words you can say how beautiful this is here, but just the lake calm, just a beautiful start to the day in Munising. Thanks, P Greg, for sending that in. And as we look at some other 906 Weather Watcher photos here, Cindy Scheffler took a trip to Marquette today. She was at McCarty's Cove, and it doesn't look like there's a cloud in the sky there. Oh, just a, Yeah, just a couple of puffy clouds there. There's the lighthouse, just Lake Superior, beautiful. Did have some gusty winds, though, today around Marquette, but it was just all in all not too bad of a day. Just a tad bit on the cool side. I don't know if I'm going in that water today, but just a beautiful day there, beautiful picture. Thanks, Cindy, for sending that in. And then Kev in Westwood, Western Marquette County. He had a nice start to the day, 58 degrees at sunrise and he caught a beautiful sunrise there as well. Thanks Kev for sending that in. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page on Facebook, we're almost to 700 members, Becca. We'd love to have you join. Feel free to jump on the Facebook, check it out. And Becca and I would love to show off your weather photos or any nature photos that you have during WJMN Local 3 News. All right, let's get you to the max computer. We're going to move through this a little on the quick side here. Temperatures already down to 46 in Newberry, but as you can see, the rest of the UP are in the 50s and 60s for the overnight hours. It's a cool overnight, but we're warming up on Thursday. And in fact, Friday, very warm to hot. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, especially if you're involved in a football game on Friday. And even tomorrow night, it's going to be a little bit on the warmer side. Also for Friday for the high school football games, we are going to have some thunderstorm chances, so just be aware of that. And if you are going to any games on Friday night, be prepared for perhaps some weather delays. And then for Saturday, it turns much cooler. For the overnight hours across the UP, temperatures will range from 46 in Newberry to 60 in Ontonagon. And as we look at Thursday, there's your warm-up with highs in the 80s, a little bit cooler near Lake Michigan, Copper Harbor, maybe 78. For Friday, very warm to hot. A couple of UP spots could be around 90 or the 90s, especially Launce over towards Ewan Trout Creek, but even some other UP spots in the central UP. Powers 89, Gwynn 88 as well. And then Saturday, there's your cool down. A good part of the UP will stay in the 60s. Some spots around 70 or the 70s, especially the south central UP. 53 Marquette, 56 for the overnight hours, or excuse me, 52 for the overnight hours for Escanaba. 51 Iron Mountain, 56 Houghton and Hancock. Marquette area next seven days, 84 on Thursday, 80 Friday, cool down for the weekend, and then a slow warm up starting Monday for the holiday. For Escanaba and Gladstone, 80 degrees on Thursday, 84 Friday, around 70 both days this week.
weekend back into the mid to upper 70s for Monday and Tuesday. Iron Mountain 86 for your Thursday, 88 Friday, around 70 for Saturday, 72 on Sunday, warming up early next week. Houghton and Hancock 85 on Thursday, 88 on Friday, and then 65 for your Saturday, and then the slow warm-up starts on Sunday into Monday for the Labor Day holiday weekend.